Hey folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. If you've ever needed a spring and don't have one handy, this is a video showing how you can make a substitute spring using just your drill press and some wire. I made the six springs you see here in about five minutes with different thicknesses of wire, different size mandrels, and different twist rates on the drill press. Like I said, this is a quick and dirty way. You need a, you need a drill press, and you need some sort of a mandrel to turn the spring on. I've got a piece of quarter inch aluminum here. Obviously a different size mandrel will give you a different diameter spring. You need some wire. Spring wire or music wire is the best uh, in terms of having the proper characteristics for a compression or tension spring, but most types of wire will at least hold the spring shape that we're trying to create here. Finally, safety is always important in the machine shop but this is probably one of the most dangerous processes I've ever done on video. Uh, the first part on, on safety is you need to make sure your drill press has a low speed. Mine goes as low as 200 RPMs, and frankly, that's still pretty fast. Other than the drill press and the mandrel, you need two things. You need a piece of wire, like I've got holding up here. You wanna make sure that the wire does not have any burrs or kinks on the end because you're gonna be feeding this wire through your hand in a glove. And then you need a nice leather glove that you're comfortable wearing to feed it through, like this guy right here. One of the trickiest parts is getting the wire secured in the chuck jaws. Here's what I like to do. Start with the mandrel snug in the chuck and then loosen it ever so slightly so that you think you have enough clearance in the chuck jaws. Then take your wire and feed the end up and then tighten the chuck jaw with your hand, with one hand and then snug it down with both hands. Now you can see I've got the wire snapped in the chuck jaw between the jaw and the mandrel. Okay, with your left hand or in your glove, I'm going to pull the wire back and make sure there's no more knots or kinks so that it's free to uh, wrap around the mandrel. And then I hold the wire about six inches away so from the chuck, absolutely need eye protection on, and then Make sure your drill, again, is in the lowest speed possible, and then just let the wire feed through your fingers, and the angle at which you hold the wire relative to the mandrel will dictate the pitch of the spring. Flip the drill on. Like so. Let's take a closer look. Okay, I did pretty well for the first sort of half or so, the pretty consistent pitch. I got a little bit tight here, and then I overcompensated and got too loose here. So again, that's the type of thing you'll have to experiment with. Um, I suggest you turn a much longer spring um, than you need. That way you can cut off the portion that is suited, suited best for you. You want to use a mandrel that's slightly thinner than the end diameter that you want because inevitably the spring will uncoil just a hair after it's turned on the mandrel, which will increase the spring's diameter. And finally, there are many better ways you can do this um, if you're going to do this uh, in a more, uh, there are many better ways you can do this if you're going to do it frequently or if you want to do it more safely, which I highly encourage. The first option would be you could have a hole drilled through this mandrel that you could stick the wire through to start with rather than feeding it through the end of the chuck jaw. Um, and you take a look on YouTube. There are some other great uh, ideas out there with tools that you can use to hold in your hand instead of using your hand. And there are even folks who have set up their lathes and the power feed to tr turn true uh, constant pitch diameter springs, which is really impressive. The goal here today was just a quick and dirty. Again, be safe on this one. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe for more machine shop and prototyping videos. Thanks, folks.